Oh, there's a spawner. Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. As you can see today I am on Minecraft and today I think we are going to try and find some diamonds. But before we go down and search for some diamonds, I'm going to make myself a full set of iron armor because as you can see I've only got the chest plate and the boots. So we're going to make a helmet and some leggings, going to equip both of them. And then I think I'll put my leather ones in this chest. I don't know whether I had all these chests in the last video, I haven't been on Minecraft in ages, but I've been doing a bit of resource gathering for when um, when I start to build the house. I'm pretty sure I've got some more pickaxes somewhere, yeah, I'm gonna need a whole lot of pickaxes for this. And obviously we're gonna need the iron pickaxe as well for when we actually get to the diamonds. And then torches, have I got any torches? don't think I've got any torches, gonna have to make some, haven't got much coal, hmm. for now we'll have to do with four torches, also uh, been gathering some, um, if we can find it, I can't find it, um, yeah, gathering some honey, as you can see, from the beehive. We can go and collect some more now if there's any honey in there. I think I might have to put that back in the chest. Now, I know I haven't been on Minecraft in ages. I've been playing loads of other games recently because, um, because obviously, I don't know if any of you guys know, but I bought the, uh, probably didn't because I haven't said but uh, I bought the Xbox Game Pass so I've been playing loads of games off of that <clears throat> obviously you, you should have seen the beehive in an earlier episode in the series and here it is and as you can see I have put a campfire underneath it so I can collect the honey without having to worry about the bees attacking me because obviously if you don't have the um, campfire under there the bees will attack you if you try and collect the honey so in case you guys didn't know that that's how you do it and obviously the only way you can break the hive um, without bees attacking you is if they're all in there and you're using silk touch which obviously we don't have in the series yet but hopefully we'll get eventually in the series I mean I, I think it's getting close to night time don't really want to endanger the villagers but I think if we like because I'm going down so low it won't really affect them too much also as well um, I started making a sugar cane like sort of automatic farm not an automatic one like a manual farm or I just kind of walk along like this and just break it. Yeah, I think I'll put these two on the edge if I can. I swear you could put it on gravel before. Maybe not. Doesn't really matter. But yeah. And I went that way a little bit. I think I, can't, I think I might place them in over there. I can't really remember, but yeah got quite a lot of food just checking because I saw these animals I thought I could kill them if I ain't got enough food tell you what I'll do I'll wait until night time and then I'll be back when it's night okay so I've just uh, finished sleeping in my bed and I forgot I did this but um just put this egg I collected away but basically 
if I go into the uh, village, just thought I'd show you guys this before we get on with the video. But basically, I um, can't remember what it was um, that happened, but I think uh, these these pens, like I think a villager got trapped, so I had to let him out. And then I put that there so then not, nothing else can get in, but somehow an iron golem's got in and the cat. I think later on in this series we'll try and tame the cat. But for now I think we'll just leave it. I know one of the games I've been playing off of Minecraft Dungeons is this, um, not Minecraft Dungeons, off of Game Pass is uh, Minecraft Dungeons. And I know I've been quite enjoying it. Like, it's not really, it's got the basic ideas of Minecraft, but it's almost like not Minecraft. Like, it's got the same animation, same, like, enemies and all that, but, like, it's kind of a nice twist on Minecraft. But, yeah, what I did do off-camera is I did, uh, the staircase, and now I don't bump my head, as you can see. And, uh, yeah. I'm not sure where to continue the staircase. I was thinking somewhere over here. I think before I do that, I might just mine out this coal. So we've got more torches. I think I'll be back with you guys when we've got more torches. Okay, so I've got over a stack of um, torches as you can see. I've covered over the area so I don't trip like or go down it by accident. I think I'm going to start tunneling. I think I'm going to start tunneling here. Looking at the, um, the Y value on the coordinates trying to get it to about y12 that was what I want to get to oh, my first pickaxe has just ran out that's why I bring a lot of stone pickaxes if you why I'm not using my iron pickaxe personally I think um, at this point in the game it's not really too great I'm just gonna have to put the torch on that side to use the iron pickaxe because it's a bit of a waste, I think. I feel like later on in the game, like, it's better to use a better tools, but to start with, which is what this series pretty much is, is like right near the start, it's not really worth it. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, be back with you guys when I'm at Y12. Just before I uh, get to the point of Y12, just thought I'd uh, show you guys this uh, little water area I found when I was mining out all that coal. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back. Just I'll get. I think what I'll do is um, I think I've got a tunnel through that. But I think I'll just explore it real quick. Don't want to get trapped or anything. Mm, it's basically like not really anything else there. So I think I'll try and tunnel down through it. Well, I'll be back when I'm at Y12. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I'm currently at um, Y12. Just mine that out so it's easier to come down but yeah pretty solid staircase and as you can see there was gravel there so yeah basically the way we're going to look for diamonds is we're going to tunnel straight and what I like to do is I like to have obviously I'll have that there and then I'll have the empty slot and then every time the empty slot gets filled I put it back so that way I know how much is in my inventory and that's the thing when I know the empty slot is full and there's no more spaces I know that I need to go back up to empty my oh, oh. I think that was iron there as well yeah it is well I think we will grab that probably some gravel yeah gravel I don't know why I'm mining it with my um, torch because I don't think I have a shovel so I just use that because I don't want to use the pickaxe because obviously it uses up its drawability which is a waste of its drawability
Sorry about that guys, I just had to um, talk to my dad for a bit. Oh, I must be in a um, extreme hills biome because that is the only place emerald um, or actually um, is found. Let's take a screenshot of that. Just in case um, I don't find diamonds in this video, at least I found um, emerald ore. I wonder if there's any more of it. Or is just the one? I mean, there's not any more there. Yeah, it's just the one. Well, I think I'll leave that. And then I think I'll wait until I've got silk touch. And then once I've got silk touch, I think I will... Um, come back and collect it because I don't think it's worth turning into emerald because you can get emeralds really easily but you can't get emerald ore very easily emerald ore is very rare it's the rarest ore in the game so I think I will just silk touch it when I have the chance but yeah just leave that there for now Basically, we're just going to keep tunneling in until we find diamonds. It takes a lot longer because of all the gravel. The good thing is when we eventually go to the nether, it will be quite easy because um, cause, uh, obviously the gravel can help you get through the nether. And if you guys don't know how, when that video comes up, obviously I'll show you how you can do it if um, if you need to. That looks like a cave. It is a cave. Well, I mean, there could be some diamonds in it because it is about diamond level. Hmm. Spider, I haven't got anything that can hear from that range. Tell you one thing though, there's obsidian here. Oh, no. oh, there's a spawner. Hmm, gonna have to take care of that spawner. Could turn that into a uh, zombie farm. I think what I'll do is I'll just cover up the water so then I can put torches all around don't want zombies spawning anywhere near here but yeah let's just check the chests I'll just pretty much take everything so some bones Got some wheat. Got one bit of redstone, not really too helpful. I've got another bucket. Oh, got some iron horse armor. Got some more iron, not really, like that's that's not too useful. Got some gunpowder. Oh, got a golden apple. Unfortunately, it's not a gold, like um, one of the best types of golden apple. I think I'll take this and then obviously rotten flesh isn't too good so I'll just put that back okay so um, let's just take care of this spider while we're here I think um, we will leave the video here take a take a photo of the screenshot of that and uh, yeah I think that will be the video didn't find diamonds but I think I'll find diamonds in the next video so hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next one
built our empire.